In this one, I want to bench test my Kjetronic system. In some of the previous episodes, I have rebuilt this fuel distributor and this warm up regulator. I want to test system pressure, control pressure, and few of the individual components. You could do all this testing with your system in the car using one of these Kjetronic fuel system pressure tester. I have some bunch of fittings here, fuel hoses and a few fuel containers to test it out but you don't need all of this. This is how it would look inside your car. You got your electric fuel pump connected via this hose to your fuel accumulator. I bypassed it in this situation. From your fuel accumulator via hard lines beneath the car to your fuel filter. And from the fuel filter to this fuel distributor. In the same banjo fitting there is a connection to your cold start valve. It works in connection with this thermo time switch. When the engine is cold this thermo time switch completes the circuit and activates this fifth injector for one to eight seconds and it sprays fuel to help with the cold starting. There is one more component to this Kjotonic system and it's this air auxiliary valve. We'll test it out later in the video. This helps to add more air in the mixture when the car is cold. Warm up regulator is affecting the pressure in the metering head. So basically as it heats up adds a little bit more fuel on cold engines. So the way this basically works is as the engine draws in the air this flap raises and in turn pushes the pin inside the metering head allowing fuel to go from this lower part to upper part of the distributor and through these four injector lines delivers the fuel to the engine. For all of this to work properly we need to measure system pressure and control pressure as well as all the other components. And here is my basic bench testing setup. I got power supply here on a switch for the fuel pump and for the warm up regulator. I got my power supply here but you can use a regular car battery. And here is my fuel pressure tester. If you're doing this on the car, it goes from this port on your distributor to this inlet on the warm-up regulator. The side with the valve goes to the warm-up regulator. With the valve closed, let's first test the system pressure. Fuel pump on. It's around 4.6, which is within the spec. Let's see the control pressure now. Mm. Very low. It should be around 1.5 bar. I'll apply 12 volts to the warm up regulator so I can check for warm control pressure. I'll give it a few minutes. 
it's around 2.5 bar which is again too low I have already rebuilt this warm-up regulator so I gotta open it up and see what's wrong with it I'll open it up and if there's nothing obviously wrong with it I'll try to knock this pin out which should increase the pressure Uh, this is the part I want to knock in. This stud is a bit rusty, so I need to clean it up before I can push it out or knock it out. I'm pushing the pin using a C-clamp. I'll reassemble it now and check the pressures again. It's too high now, so I need to knock it in, knock the pin in. I'll push it in until I reach the pressure I want. It's about 20 degrees. I pushed it in too far, so I'll do it again until I reach 1.5 bar at 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I applied 12 volts to the warm up regulator. Let's give it a few minutes. After a few minutes, it sits around 3.2, which is a bit too low. It should be at least 3.4. I'll play with it a bit more until I get the result I want. Cold Start 12 is working too. I'll have it tested more once it's in the car. And the final thing I want to test is this auxiliary air valve. You can see how much it is opened in the room temperature. I'll put it in the freezer overnight to test it out. After some time in the freezer it's completely open. After sitting for a bit, it closed again, as it should. With the cage electronic system tested, next step is to build a engine run stand, so I can test the whole engine and fine tune it before it gets in the car. <laughs> 